Hey Freedom Family, welcome back to another episode of The Freedom Hot Seat. What's hanging everybody? I hope you guys are doing awesome today. Are you guys a fan of theme parks? Do you like the thrill of being in a roller coaster ride? Do you want to feel the dread and excitement when you go up to that arc and just plunge down? Well, Freedom Family, I have a treat for you guys. Today, we will be spotlighting BBP Games. BBP Games is a content creator that makes videos about theme park rides. He finds joy in recreating or reinventing theme parks that he has been to or he has seen. With this being said, Frontier Developments have taken notice of BBP Games and made him a featured content creator. This can be you in the future, Freedom Family. Without further ado, let's introduce BBP Games. Hi, BBP Games. We thank you so much for being here with us today. First and foremost, let's talk about your channel. How did you start YouTube? My channel has a long and kind of confusing or complicated story behind it. It all starts back in 2011 when my channel has been about uh, Roller Coast Tycoon and Minecraft. Uh, but basically, already from the start, my channel is still what it is today in terms of like the main goal of creating roller coaster based content within video games. Now, the thing is, is that at the time there was only Roller Coaster tycoon 2 and 3 and then you had um well minecraft with creative mode that was really all i had at the time but it wasn't until around maybe 2016 or 2015 i forget the year exactly but uh roller coaster tycoon world was announced and when that game was announced i knew that, that i finally had a new game for my channel and also a new game to play on my own time because i just love playing games based around roller coaster fortunately Roller Coaster Tycoon World, by the time the beta weekends came out, it was a disappointment. It was a disaster. So I went over to go ahead and play Planet Coaster because at that time that game was announced. So I purchased the early bird, so I got the alpha edition. First thing I did, I went ahead to build a roller coaster. Now, this roller coaster was basically themed around pirates. It was kind of like my take on the Pirates of Caribbean ride at Disneyland. I went ahead and uploaded this coaster onto YouTube after I finished. I actually got a decent amount of views and I got some comments saying that they enjoyed this. So the next thing I did, I just went ahead and started building some more coasters in this game, both real and uh, my own stuff. So when I say real, I mean I built roller coasters that were actually in the real world. So like, let's say Canada's one, like got Behemoth, Leviathan, Vortex, Flight Deck, and so on. Those are all real coasters. So what I would do, I would take those real coasters and recreate them into the game. So they'll be of high accuracy, scale to scale, and uh, to detail. And then I would also take my own work, like things that I came up with on my own, and build them into the game as well and upload it onto the channel. So this became a regular pattern with me constantly uploading both my own stuff and recreations onto the channel. And it got to the point where people would comment on the video or tell me what kind of recreation they would like to see next. I would go ahead and recreate it into the game and then put it onto the YouTube channel within the week. I'm not gonna lie, BBP Games, I'm not a fan of roller coaster rides because I can see my life flashing in front of me when I do, so. Yeah, so let's talk about Frontier Development. What was your experience when you were working with them? So yeah, uh, Frontier began to take notice of my creations back in November of 2016, but it wasn't until the 5th of February of 2017 where I was added as a feature creator for the game. And it wasn't until December of 2017, I believe, where all of us feature creators were listed on the game's menu at once because the feature creator program is now uh, basically done with, like nobody else is being added to the program. Everyone who's been a part of it is now listed onto the website and in the game permanently and all of us at once now instead of rotation. One of the better things about being a feature creator, like one of the, um, the perks about it is that uh, I actually got a increase in viewership both on my YouTube channel and on my Steam Workshop. This is because on the games menu, you see my name. When you click on it, it will take you to my Steam Workshop page. And if you were to click on something in my Steam Workshop page, you will be seeing a YouTube video of mine. So that's one of the perks. And the other one is that uh, occasionally Frontier has put out um, little social media posts that talks about one of my creations. So far, there's been, I think, three posts I can remember. Now, some of the better perks about this is some of the behind the scenes stuff that we get to do. So there, in the game, you have a career mode. And one of the perks, um, um, a few of us UH creators got to come together to build some Western items and send it to Frontier and then they would place it down in the, the scenario and then when the update came out, um, you get to see 
this you know put together by us creators creators like all of these items that we built the other things we got to do was for the frontier expo i was invited out to go to this event but unfortunately i couldn't make it due to travel costs so what i ended up doing was building the demo park for the expo if you were at the event and you were to see the computers laying around, you can go up to a computer and try out the game Planet Coaster for yourself. And when you try out the game, you'll be playing on the park that I made for those computers at that event. So that was uh, pretty fun to do. Working with a company that is in line with your channel can give you multiple perks. One of these perks are added viewership and your content gets to be part of that company. So Freedom Family, if you were given a chance to be featured or sponsored by a company, what company would you choose? Let me know in the comments section below. BBP Games, thank you so much for sharing that to us i know you have a lot of things that you're doing right in your channel that's why you got spotlighted or got featured by frontier development can you please share all of these things that you are doing right in your channel so far a few things i feel like i'm doing right for my channel are the thumbnails now my thumbnails are eye-catching they're full of color and the border for people who have been watching my channel for some time now are color coded so each color code represents a different series on my channel orange being recreations blue being creations red being tutorials purple being twitch highlights and so on so for my casual viewers or like for my regular viewers they'll be able to tell which series or which video is a part of what series because of the color code of the thumbnail for the eye catching it allows new viewers who are going through the recommended page you're going through a search result on youtube or simply browsing my own channel itself their view is going to be caught by the thumbnail because of how eye catching it is and when they're going through it they'll see it right there they'll be one of the first thumbnails to take a look at the other thing I feel like I'm doing right are keep my videos short. Uh, one thing I really hate doing is putting ads in my videos. Like, yes, putting ads in your videos is what gets you the money, but I don't like putting too many ads in the videos as that can really subtract your viewership. So most of my videos are under 10 minutes because I don't like going over the 10 minute mark because it makes it feel like you're like cashing out, like it makes it feels like you're like just trying to go in it for the money so i keep my videos short especially since my videos are mainly about the roller coaster i just built so i don't think people are really going to stay for 10 minutes watching a single roller coaster and uh, if any of my videos do go over 10 minutes long it's going to be something that's more involving something that has more content within it and not just a single coaster like perhaps maybe it's like a full on dark ride it's like long and engaging has a story to it and if that video does go for 10 minutes it's going to be not riddled with ads it's going to be just having just very few like maybe one in the middle that's it i hate putting too many ads in the videos as that can uh, really subtract your viewership one of the last things that i feel like i am doing right for my channel is the way i present these roller coaster videos one thing i like doing is having the music sync up with the video uh, whenever it has a roller coaster or ride in it that i'm presenting i try to make sure that the music is synced up well enough to the roller coaster itself and to the way the video is presenting itself so in one of my most recent videos the yukon striker recreation i synced up the music to go with with the video with both the editing and with the ride itself but i try to make sure that the music is synced up to the video to the best of my abilities to kind of give it more of an impact remember guys good thumbnails great quality videos and unique video styles what has been your motivation that drives you and tells you that you have to create good quality content so that your audiences can appreciate it the big motivator for me is going out to real theme parks so whenever i go out to canada's wonderland Cedar Point, Walt Disney World, Disneyland, you name it. Whenever I go to these parks, the first thing I do is looking around at the roller coasters around me, looking around at the shops, looking around at the scenery, the buildings, the landscaping. I'm always looking around, seeing what the park has to offer with both rail rides and both scenery rides. And then when I get home, I launch up Planet Coaster and I try to recreate what I just saw. To the best of my abilities like i tried to make it resemble what i was seeing and that's a big motivator and inspiration for me is getting these thoughts and ideas from these parks and trying to implement them into my creations so that's like the big motivator uh the other motivators are seeing my viewers uh wanting to see certain content for me seeing these comments talking about um like i want to see this roller coaster recreated in the game has been a big motivator as uh, i never thought my channel would really take off anywhere like i thought it would always be in the only 100 subscriber range that's it 
but it really did take off thanks to both Freedom and also uh, Frontier for both promoting my channel. I agree with you. Surrounding and immersing yourself to your content will really inspire you to do the things that you love. So BBP Games, during your time with Freedom, what have we done to help you grow your channel? Obviously, the big one is this video right now as I get to communicate with some Freedom members I probably wouldn't ever communicate to because they're probably not in the Discord server. Uh, but some of the other ones is actually being able to communicate with Freedom members in the Discord server, both uh, getting help from them and helping them out. Whenever I help out other Freedom members, it does make me reflect on my own channel, seeing what I could do to improve my channel at the same time, seeing if they're doing the same mistakes as me. And if so, how can I fix my channel about them? So that's some of the other things that Freedom's helped me out with. The other things is that uh, promotion, more viewership, uh, ad revenue. The ad revenue is a big one because all the ad revenue my channel's ever produced has just been pumped right back into the channel. I've almost never really used ad revenue for my own uh, purposes. It's always just been for the channel itself. And if it wasn't for the ad revenue, my channel wouldn't have the equipment and quality it has today because the green screen behind me, my keyboard, my new mouse, this camera, uh, my microphone, my second monitor has all been thanks to the ad revenue of the channel. It's all just been pumped right back into the channel itself. So that's one of the big factors. Yes, we want to send everyone their respective earnings so that they can grow on YouTube and become like a very big star someday. So before we close the episode BBP Games, can you please give us a piece of advice that will help our audiences and of course yours to help them grow their channel? A few big things I want to say to content creators who are struggling to get their channel out there is one, thumbnails. Make sure they're eye-catching. Make sure that it's readable, simple, and it catches the viewer's attention. Because if you can do that, then great. You got someone's attention, now you got to maintain it. Your video, make sure your video is engaging. Make sure it's entertaining. Make sure that you don't lose momentum on it. So if you start your video off on a high note, but then most of your video is kind of like just a whole bland of nothing, then you're going to lose that viewer. You want to keep that viewer's attention all the way through or keep them entertained. Make sure they're not feeling like they're wasting their time. The other thing is make sure your content isn't repetitive in terms of something that you can see almost anywhere on YouTube. If you're going to be doing a gaming channel, make sure the games you're going to be playing or make sure the way you're going to be playing these games isn't the same as almost any channel out there. Because you can name so many, like let's say Minecraft channels, maybe uh, Counter-Strike channels, um, maybe Fortnite. I hate saying it, but Fortnite, you name it. There's so many games out there that's filled on YouTube thanks to so many channels that is going to be pretty generic so you want to make sure that your content does not get mixed with everyone else's try to make sure yours stands out so if you're going to be doing a game that's been overly done or overly saturated on this uh, platform make sure that you're playing it differently make sure you're playing it in a way that you're really going to capture your viewers attention now this point right here that i'm going to make right now is not nearly as big but it's fairly big to me personally because it's something that i always look at the channel banner make sure your channel banner isn't overly done make sure it's something simple readable um once again eye catching shows you what your channel is about you want to make sure that your channel banner is going to show your new viewers what exactly your channel is going to be doing because I know personally, whenever I look around and I see a channel banner and it's kind of like poorly done or overly done trying to be too attention grabby, I kind of pass on it. Like I don't really look at the channel too much. So don't go to Blender or Cinema 4D and go nuts with all these special effects. You want to make sure that your name on the banner is readable and make sure that it shows you what your channel is about and to go with that make sure your channel trailer also shows you what your channel is about and once again it grabs your viewers attention keeps momentum going and so on thank you so much for sharing this with us the floor is yours if you ever need more advice you can uh, always message me on discord uh to go with that uh my own stuff let's see we're gonna have a uh, discord up there yeah youtube up there twitter down there Maybe a mystery video there. I don't know. I'm uh, kind of tangling around a bit here, but uh, you get the idea. 
who wants to ever get uh, more advice about your channel or whatever, you can always hook me up on Discord. We can chat a little. And then uh, if you want to see what my channel is about, hang up. That point here for my channel or here? I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, that's the episode. Don't forget to visit his channel, subscribe, and also click that bell icon. You can also catch him with his social media. So, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this episode. I will be reading your comments. I always read your comments, and I love it. Don't forget to hit that thumb icon just right underneath here, right, like right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. My name is Noel, guys, and you're watching Freedom Hot Seat. Goodbye. Thank you.